I'm Kim Heyman, a product manager at Digi International. Today, I'm going to unbox the iX20 and tell you a little bit about its features. First thing I want to talk about is the box itself, or more in particular, the labels on the outside. The iX20 is an industrial cellular router, and it features a core module. So there's actually two different labels on the side of the box. The one is for the router itself, including the MAC address and the serial number. Another label includes the core module that is packaged with the router and its IMEI number. The top label is the one that's probably most important to us actually, has the SKU that is ordered. In particular, this one is an iX20-WAG4. iX20 is the name of the product. W indicates that this iX20 has Wi-Fi. There's actually another model of iX20 that does not have the Wi-Fi. A for accessories, so accessories are in the box, and G4 is the global cap for core module that's also in the box. So let's take a look. First thing that we'll notice when we open the box is there is a welcome card that gives us a link to the Digi website for the quick start guide for how to start up the X20. There's also a card that highlights this label and the importance of it. So there's a loose label inside the box of the iX20 that has unique default password. So all Digi routers have a unique default password for, for security. When you set up the router, you'll probably set your own password. But if for any reason you ever return the router to its default, then you'll need to have the default password. Some people choose to take this spare sticker off its paper and stick it to a cabinet next to the iX20. Um, others prefer to put this in, uh, in a file folder and, and store it away in their records. Well, let's take a look at what's in the box. Well, first the iX20, but then this box also contains accessories, as I mentioned earlier, uh, antennas, power supply, and, and a number of other things as well. I'll go through in, in a moment. We also have the G4 as well that I mentioned earlier as well. So let's take a look at the router itself. So the iX20 is intended as an uh, industrial router for industrial environments. So you can see that it has uh, heat sinks here for uh, suitable for uh, industrial environments up to, in this case, up to 70, 70 degrees C. There's also a number of connectors on the one side here as well, where the Wi-Fi antenna is connected here. There are two ethernet ports, the first one being configured for WAN, a serial port, this is RS-232, a number of LEDs for status, and then the power supply input. There are also two small buttons on the bottom here, one labeled SIM, what it is is a SIM switch, <clears throat> so uh, this router supports two SIM cards, and so that via that button you can switch over from, from one SIM to another, helpful for when you're troubleshooting or maybe when you're doing initial setup, and then an erase button as well. On the back side you can see that there is no core module inserted yet, so we'll take that out of the box. The core module comes packaged in its own box, in the future, the iX20 will be offered with a couple of different options for core modules. In this case, this one is the Global Cat 4. On the back side of the core module are two slots for SIMs, SIM 1 and SIM 2. We'll put the core module into the back of the router. Make sure that the clip here in white is uh, engaged and seated properly. And then, oh, we have a back plate or door to fit over top. And this ensures that the core module is secure in the router. This is a thumb screw that you can do by hand. Okay. 
As I mentioned, there are a number of accessories that come with the iX20. Uh, the power supply. Let's take a look at that. Actually comes with a number of plug tips. So depending on where you are in the world. So in Asia, North America, Europe, and there's a couple of others too. So let's say this was Europe. We could insert the plug tip into the power supply. Antennas, take a look at what we have for antennas. Two cellular antennas to connect into our SMA connectors here. And then also a Wi-Fi antenna as well for the front of the device. And we've also included an ethernet um, cable as well for your convenience. One other thing that we have in the box as well. Ah, here it is. I didn't know it, it's small, but can be important. This is included in the box when you order accessories. This DIN rail clip fits here on the under, underside of the iX20. There's two screw holes. I won't take the time to connect it now, but you can connect the DIN rail clip so that you can mount the iX20 like this or like this if it was on a DIN rail. And the other option uh, is to simply attach the iX20 via these tabs to to a flat surface. I think that was everything that was in the box. Thank you for joining me in this unboxing video.